And I'm Dave Kaiser. Thanks for joining us on Channel 12's Community Corner. Those grease fires happen right here around the kitchen stove, and we had a chance to catch up with Maple Grove Fire Department staff to find out a little bit more about some tips that you should know about taking care of a grease fire in a kitchen. And also, there are new types of smoke detectors out. You may want to pay a little more attention when you go shopping for them. Here's some important information from the Maple Grove Fire Department. In Maple Grove, so far in 2013, we've had 26 structure fires. And of those 26, 13 of them were kitchen fires. So 50% of our fires so far this year have been kitchen fires. We tell people that when you're cooking with grease, get the lid out for that pan, have it on the counter. Um, if you don't have a lid that fits that pan, a cookie sheet does just as good. Um, so the fire starts, you take your lid or your cookie sheet, put on your oven mitts, and just kind of use it as a shield, put it over the fire, shut the heat off, and then leave that on there for about 20 minutes. Smoke alarms, so important to have in our houses today, more than ever before. Um, we really encourage people, if your smoke alarm is 10 years old, it's time for a new one. They, get, they become unreliable. We really encourage people to buy dual sensor smoke alarms. That has both sensing technologies in it. So photoelectric is better for smoldering fires. Ionization will go out faster if you have a flaming fire. And so, because we don't know what kind of fire we could have in our homes, that with having both those technologies and a dual sensor smoke alarm will give you the best protection. Thanks, Marilyn, for the important tips about kitchen fires and also about these smoke detectors. And remember, there are different kinds out there. And what they recommend, the dual sensor alarm. If you want more information about these or anything related to the fire department, maplegrovemn.gov.